I am sitting in the back of my Ram Jeep with my entire Mexican childhood in the trunk. I have 989 miles to reach the land of possibilities. I think about all the school lunches I will have with my beautiful blonde blue-eyed friends and how I will decorate my locker all pink like Sharpay Evans. Finally, I can become the first doctor in my family. So I, Elizabeth Rojas Gallegos, promise myself I will take advantage of every opportunity that comes my way and I will not let anything stand in my way. I was just nine years old when I moved from Chihuahua, Chihuahua, Mexico to the United States. I realized I might sound a little bit foolish to have thought that my entire life was going to change the instant I, I crossed the border. But it has been this type of ambitious thinking that has led me to seek for new opportunities and to truly understand the American education, understand the value in having an education in this country. Whenever I tell anyone that I've wanted to become a doctor since the age of nine years old, they look at me confused. They ask me, why would you follow a crazy idea that you had when you were nine years old? But is it that crazy to think that I am chasing my wildest dream? The average American drives 930,000 miles in their lifetime. Today, I invite you on a Ram Jeep journey with me to see how you have been using every mile to pursue your wildest dream. We will start by going back in time to when you were nine years old. Our first stop, defining your final destination. What is your wildest dream? Where do you want to end up? I know you might be thinking, all I wanted to do when I was nine years old was to become a superhero. Hey. No dream is too wild. What's important is that you keep this dream in your mind and you keep it crystal clear. My final destination is to become a doctor. Our second stop, the journey to our final destination. Our life is made up of many stops. These stops have two possible outcomes. One, we get closer and closer to achieving our dream, or two, we forget we ever had one. This is because these stops have obstacles, challenges, people's opinions, and distractions that take us away from achieving our goals. But these same stops have endless opportunities for us to learn and to grow, and opportunities that take us closer to our wildest dream. I have faced many stops and many obstacles on my journey so far. I have had to learn a new language. I came to this country without knowing a single word of English. So yes, there was a time where I was calling my shoulder my knee. <laughs> but I persevered through this obstacle. I sought out new opportunities, like getting a tutor, reading the cereal box every morning, and just embarrassing myself in front of my friends while I practiced the English. But persevering through these obstacles is why I'm able to speak to you today. Think about the obstacles that you have faced on your journey so far. But most importantly, think about the opportunities that you have sought after to overcome these obstacles. You have the choice to pursue opportunities that allow you to overcome any obstacle. You have the choice to keep your dream alive. Even if you wanted to become a superhero, what have you done to help other people to make an impact in the world? This takes us to our third and final destination of my Ram Jeep journey with you. It has led us to today, right here, right now. I hope you have reflected on how you have been using your miles to pursue your wildest dream, how you have been using 930,000 miles how you have been incorporating your wildest dream during your journey so far. I have blocked out the noise of the world over the past four, four years. I have pursued opportunities like volunteer work, internships, clubs, all which have taken me one step closer to achieving my dream. I have driven 54,000 miles over the past four years. I 
am truly privileged to be standing in front of you today. I am privileged to be getting an American education. We are privileged to be living in the land of possibilities. How have you been taking advantage of this privilege? How have you been using every mile, every opportunity to chase your wildest dream? You see, I emphasize the importance of seeking opportunities because imagination without application leads to fascination. But imagination with application leads to transformation. Your dream, whatever it is, is possible. You just have to be willing to seek for opportunities. When I came to this country, I was a nine-year-old Mexican girl with a big heart and a big dream. I have so far kept the promise I made to myself during my drive to the United States. And today, I, Elizabeth Rojas Gallegos, promise myself again that I will become the first doctor in my family. I will become an OBGYN. I will get the privilege to help women bring new life into this world. Your dream can be your reality in this land of opportunity. You are what you seek. What will you start seeking starting today? I have 876,000 miles to reach my wildest dream, to become the first doctor in my family. I am just getting started. You should be too. Thank you.